Hey y'all, let's take a look at units. This is a really very useful um, skill to be able to have, even though you can probably just you know talk to your cell phone and ask the question to convert this to that, and it'll do it for you. It's still neat to be able to do it on your own. In fact, if you do these, like your problems, if you're ever not sure about something, you don't have access to the answer key, you can just talk to your phone and say, convert, blah, 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 it'll do it for you, you can check. So anyway, all right, well, let's take a look. A foot times a foot is called a what? In other words, Here's something that's a foot long. All right, here's now it's a foot long by a foot wide. What is this called right here? It's a square foot, right? And it's it's abbreviated like that. The two means two dimensions. Okay, a centimeter, a cubic centimeter, which is you can visualize it like a cube of sugar, cubic centimeter, divided by a square centimeter is just going to be a centimeter, right? Something to the third power divided the same thing to the second power is that to the first power, all right? How about yards to the third power divided by yards? Yards to the second power, right? Okay, here's another question for you. What's the answer to any number multiplied by a fraction that equals one? In other words, let's say you have the, word, the number 13. Okay, we're gonna multiply it by uh, eight over eight. What's the answer to that? 13, right? Because, I, you know, this is, it's a fraction. Yeah, there are different numbers, but you have just multiplied by one, which means you still have 13. If you have 37 and you multiply it by 7.9 over 7.9, you still have 37. That's the secret to doing unit multipliers. What you're doing is, is you're starting with one unit and you're multiplying by a fraction that has other units, but the fraction is still one. So what you're doing is, even though sometimes you're multiplying a lot of these numbers, and eventually we get to a point where we have 18 fractions and sometimes 21 fractions. Doesn't matter because we keep multiplying by one over and over and over. All we're doing is just changing the look of it and the unit. And I'll show you an example. Well, I'll show you a bunch of examples. Okay, let's use a unit multiplier to change 600 inches to feet. Okay, here's how you do this. <clears throat> All right, and you might want to write this down. I would definitely, if you don't have notes on this, write this down. When you see these, first thing you want to do, if I, I would do if I were you, number one is kind of make, don't, you know, write this in a very simplified version. Write something like this, 600 inches to feet. I'd write that if I were you, to make it nice and simple for myself, okay? First thing. Second thing, and I would, again, you might want to write this down, is write what you are given. Write down what you're given. You were given 600 inches. Okay? The third thing you do is multiply by a fraction with this same unit on the bottom. Okay? So you don't even have to think about this. You can, if you want to put that as a fraction, you can. As long as you have an inch on top, don't even think about it. You multiply by another fraction with an inch on the bottom. Okay? Now let's look at there. What, what do they want us to figure this out? Do feet? Okay. Can we go inches to feet? Yeah, we actually can. Because 12 inches is one foot. So let's, what we're doing is this. We're starting with 600 inches. We're multiplying by, you tell me, what is one foot divided by 12 inches? It's one, right? That's like saying one foot divided by one foot, that's one. All we're doing is change the unit, but we're not changing the value because you multiply something by one, it's still the same as it always was. What we can do is this. Remember how you do fractions like this? Let's say you had 37 over 11 times five over 37. What's the easiest thing to do with this? Cancel the 37s, right? Well, that's what happens here. Cancel the inch, cancel the inch, they're gone. Now you have feet, you're in good shape, all right? So multiply numerators, you have 600 times one. Multiply denominators, that's one times 12 is 12. Do the division if you can, that's 50. And then the unit you have still left is feet. And there you go. It's 50 feet. That's it. Now, I want to caution you. Do not be tempted to go, oh, I don't need to know how to do this. I already know, let's see, 12 inches and the 600. Hey, I'm just going to do it. It's going to be 50. And that, that'll work. But when you get to a point where it's, uh, you know, uh, convert 3 billion uh, cubic inches to cubic miles, it ain't going to happen. You're not going to be able to do that. So you'll be running around the room, your mom will be like chasing you, trying to sprinkle lavender oil on you to calm you down and all this kind of stuff. So use the method. The method is 
Number one, write this as a simplified problem. Boom. This, the, number two, write what you are given as a fraction. Number three, multiply by a second fraction. Don't even think about what's going to be on the bottom. What's going to be on the bottom is exactly what's going to be on the top and go from there. That's all you need to do. Okay. All right, let's take another one. Uh, convert 44 square feet to square inches. Okay, so what I would write, I would go 44 square feet to square inches. All right, so let's write what we're given. We are given 44 square feet. All right, you can write it as a fraction if you want. Now you're going to have to do, you're going to have to have square feet as a unit in the bottom of these fractions. But this time, since there is a 2 there, you're going to have to have two instances of feet. There's one instance. There's another instance. Okay, you, you can see how, can you tell how feet times feet on the bottom that's square feet? That matches the square feet here. Okay, all you need to do here is just figure out, okay, feet to inches. So one foot is 12 inches. And of course, one foot is 12 inches. So to go very back to basics, you start with something, you're multiplying by one, 12 inches over a foot, you're multiplying by one again. Well, I mean, it's still going to be the same as you started off. It's going to look different. That's all. Okay. Well, there's two of the feet. And then, of course, one, two there. They cross out. All right. Let's see what we have here. 44. Now, the nice thing about these problems is in the back of your book, they don't make you actually find the answer to all these. You can just write 44 and then 12 squared. That can be your answer. But make sure you have the unit. An inch, one inch, times an inch is a square inch, and that's what you have, square inches. And there we go. If you had to actually, you know, figure out what this actually was, of course, you could do the arithmetic, but that's it. Okay. All right, let's try another one. Convert 44 square yards to square inches. All right, if I were you, number one, 44 square yards, and then square inches. Okay. Well, Let's start it off. Just write what you're given, 44 square yards. All right, you can write it as a fraction. You know because you have a two there and a yard, you're going to have to have two instances of yard at the bottom to undo this. And let's just go. What do you know about yards? A yard is three feet, right? One yard is three feet. <coughs> a yard is three feet. Okay, well, there's the two and there's one two there. Okay, we done? No, we're not. They want square inches. We only have feet. Well, we have two instances of feet in the numerator, which means we need two instances of feet in the denominator to cancel those out. Well, a foot is 12 inches, right? And of course, we're going for inches, so let's just go ahead and use that. So a foot is 12 inches. A foot is 12 inches. And look, cross, cross, and then cross. There we go. Now we got it. We got an inch times an inch. That's a square inch. They want to convert it to square inches. We're in good shape. And again, the nice thing about this is in your book, all you need to do is go, okay, 44 and then times 3 squared and then times 12 squared. And that's the number of square inches you have. Don't even have to do the arithmetic. Okay. All right. How's that? Okay. Let's try another one. We're going to convert 16 cubic miles to cubic inches. But first off, can you visualize a cubic mile? Like you like you start here and you walk a mile, right? And then you walk another mile. And that's a square mile, right? That's gigantic, okay? Then you walk up. You have to try really hard. You walk up a mile. Up a mile, this way a mile, that way a mile, that's a cubic mile. It's a 3D figure. Can you imagine how many cubic inches? That's a cubic inch about the size of a die, a big die. I mean, unbelievable now. So you're not going to be able to go, oh, yeah, I can just, I know how many inches you're going to meet. Okay, lavender oil, lavender oil, mom chases you and flings it on you and you start crying and stuff like that. Anyway, okay. Well, again, let's do this. 16 cubic miles, let's put MI with a 3 there. We're going to convert that to cubic inches, so cubic inches. Okay, here's how we do it. You probably have guessed that, well, first off, you write what you're given, and that's going to be 16 cubic miles. And you can go ahead and put a 1 over that. Now, how many of these am I going to have to write now? Three of them, right? 
because there's three here. We did two for the ones with two, you know, one, two to match that two. Now we're going to have to do three. So we need a mile here. We need a mile here. And we need a mile here. All right. Well, we're going to get to inches, but you probably know that a mile is 5,280 feet. So I'm going to write it three times. Now I get to cancel, right? A mile with a th to the third power, a mile to the first, the second, the third power. Boom. Now we have feet to the first power, second power, so cubic feet. No good. They want cubic inches. Well, that's a piece of cake. All we need to do is do three more of these and convert these to inches. So we have three examples of feet in the numerator, so stick three feet in the denominator, right? Nice thing about these problems is once you get a rhythm going in a method, you hardly even think. You just kind of like write it out and get it done. Okay, so one foot is 12 inches. One foot, one foot, 12 inches, 12 inches. Okay, so look, feet, 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 and then feet, foots, feet. So here's our answer. We have an inch times an inch times an inch is a cubic inch, just what we want, so we're in good shape. Now, all we need to do is write this, 16, and there's one, two, three, 5,280 to the third power, and then 12 to the third power, and all we need to write there is just inches to the third power. I wonder if Siri can do this. Convert 16 cubic miles to cubic inches. to about 4.07 quadrillion cubic inches. That's a lot of cubic inches. Okay, anyway, all right. That's not one of those you could go, oh yeah, I know the answer. I could, no, you can't. Lavender, lavender, lavender. Okay, all right. Okay, give uh, these three a shot. Let's try with a, a first and go ahead, use the method. Use the method. Get yourself trained in the method and do it. Okay, try A. All right, if you want to, you can go like this. 840 inches to feet. You might not have to do that, but you know you're gonna write what you're given, which is 840 inches. If you wanna write it as a fraction, go right ahead. Immediately you know I need another fraction with an inch at the bottom. Okay, well I got 12 inches is one foot. All right, so I got inches go away. So I have 840 on top, 12 on the bottom, that divides to give you 70, and then your unit that you have left over is feet. So there you go. Okay, pause it and try B. All right, well, let's do it. 40 square feet, just right. 40 feet, you can write a little two there. That clues you in that you're gonna to have to have two fractions, both of them with the unit feet, so they cancel. Well, one foot is, a, is 12 inches, one foot is 12 inches, so one, two feet here, and then feet times a feet there, and all you need to do is write 40, in your book, it might just have 12 squared, or it might actually, you know, multiply it out. What is it? 144 times 40? 57,600. And you have an inch times an inch, which is a square inch. So there we go. Okay. Pause it and try to see. 30 cubic miles to cubic inches. Uh, I, I even I dread to, to know how many quadrillion that is, but nice thing is you don't have to. So we'll start with 30 in cubic miles, so miles with a three, which means immediately, don't even think, just go you, you, and bloop, and a mile, a mile, a mile, and that's 5,280 feet, unless you know how many inches are in a mile, you could also do that if you wanted to, 5,280 feet, one, two, three miles, and three miles, gone. Now we have cubic feet, don't want that. We want cubic inches. No thinking, just, oh, I see three examples of feet in the numerator. That means three examples of feet in the denominator. There we go. Feet, feet, feet. One foot is 12 inches. One foot is 12 inches. One feet is 12 inches. One, two, three feet. One, two, three feet. And don't even worry about it. Just, you know, just write 30 and then parentheses times 5,280 cubed times 12 cubed cubic inches, and there's your answer. Okay. All right. You guys have a great day, and we will see you next time. Take care.